everyone! Today we are going to be making this botastic hat today. Uh, it's very pretty and uh, it's for a baby that will fit a 6 to 12 month old, okay? Um, but if you want to use a larger hook, you can make um, one that is a little bit bigger or if you want to use a smaller hook you can make a smaller hat for a newborn and I'll put all that information in the description of this video but um, this is the hat we're making so the yarn we'll be using today is all red heart yarns and I have the two colors here red and white we're using cherry red for the stripe and the bow and then we're just using plain white for the hat. Now this is basically a scrap yarn project. Um, you don't need a whole lot of yarn for each of these so I don't exactly know the exact yardage but if you bought you know one skein of each color you won't obviously use the whole skein. Um, you can make a bunch of these hats. So the size yarn I'm using is four ply or four size four yarn medium worsted weight yarn in Red Heart Super Saver and um, like I said uh, main color is white then secondary color is red but you can change up your colors you just need two colors uh, or you can do it all in one color it really doesn't matter but I show you how to change the color in this video and for the bow um, I'll show you how to make a bigger bow or a smaller bow and I'll link that to my other video I have a bow video um, on how to make small and big, big bows. The size hook we need today is an eye hook which is five and a half millimeters so you can see that there. If you wanted to make that smaller hat or a bigger hat you just go with an H size hook which is a five millimeter or a J size hook which is a six millimeter so you know you can use um, those hooks. I found inspiration for this hat online. I actually found a free pattern online uh, from Cl Classy Crochet. So I will put the link in the description of this video for that pattern. She has it nicely written out with photos uh, and the description and everything like that. So you can follow along to her written pattern. Um, but I didn't follow her pattern exactly, but um, it's very close. So I'll put the inspiration her inspirational pattern in the description of this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and join our Facebook page and show off your work please. I love seeing all your fabulous crochet work. So let's get started with this botastic hat. Alright let's continue or just continue working I guess. So um, with our white yarn we are going to uh, make a slip knot. So put your short end over the long end and then fold that down and pull that through. Okay, that's a slip knot. And then insert your eye hook or your five and a half millimeter hook. Just like that. Now we're ready to work. So um, with this eye hook we are going to chain up three. So yarn over so go under the yarn like that, hook it over, then pull through. One, do it again, two, and three. Okay, so now you have three chains. Now in the third chain from the hook, we are going to put 12 double crochets in there. So the loop on your hook never counts as anything, so we have to count one, two, and three. So yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. We just made a double crochet, so make 11 more in that same chain. Okay, in that same spot. And it's going to start uh, turning into a circle, a circular shape. Okay, so we're going to work around, and now I'm working a little bit faster, I'll show you in slow motion. Yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Okay, so continue doing that. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, gotta get my yarn, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so there's twelve. Then we want to slip stitch. Well, first off, we're going to pull this straggler. Now, if you know how to make the magic ring, go right ahead and start off like that and put 12 double crochets in the magic ring. Otherwise, pull that tight and we can sew that in around here to cinch that completely closed. Um, but count back your 12. Okay, so in your 12th one, or in your first double crochet of that round, make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, no yarning over, just insert your hook, then yarn over and pull that through and through. Okay, so we made our first round already of this hat. So going on to round number two, we need to chain up two, but notice the chain up two never counts as a stitch either. So that's just gonna be our seam. Okay, so we're just chaining up two just like that. Okay, and now we are going to put 12, or I'm sorry, two double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 24 double crochets. Okay, so yarn over we're going into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and chained up one we're going into that same stitch right there so yarn over go right into that stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two that's one now we have to put another one in there okay so now we have two double crochet in the first stitch now put two double crochet in each of the next stitches all the way around. Just repeat that. Okay, so two in the next. One and two in the next. Okay. And just can continue then putting two double crochets in each stitch around. Like I said, you'll have 24 double crochets at the end of this round. So I'll meet you up when I have my 24 double crochets. Alright, so I just finished round two and I have my 24 double crochets all the way around. So now go to the very first double crochet of that round and slip stitch by inserting your hook, yarning over and pulling through and through. Just like that. Okay, so finished round two. Now going on to round three, we need to chain up two. So yarn over, chain one and two. Okay, now we want to put uh, two double crochets in the first stitch, so in that same stitch that we just chained up two in, we want to put two double crochets in this first stitch, one and two, and then in the next stitch we're only going to put one double crochet. Okay, now in the next stitch we're going to put two double crochet. So basically in the every other stitch we're going to put two stitches and in every other stitch we're going to just put one stitch. Okay, so the, I just put two in this one so I know that the next one has to just be one. Just like that. Then the next one has to be two. One and two. And then the next one, just one double crochet. So at the end of this round, you'll have 36 double crochets, and I recommend counting your stitches at the end of each round. So um, we'll go on to the next round once I'm finished with round three. All right, I just finished round three. So now going back to the very first double crochet of that round, I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, and through for a slip stitch to close that round up. So this is what our work looks like. Now we just have to do one more increase round since this is a baby hat. We just have to do one more. So uh, for round four, chain up two, one and two. And now it says to put two double crochet in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next two stitches. So yarn over go into that first stitch there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and put another one in there. 
Okay, so I just put two double crochets in the same stitch, in that first stitch. Now we just have to put one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one in that stitch, and then one in the next stitch. Okay, now we have to repeat that, so put two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. Okay, see that grouping? Two in the same, and then one and one. Now repeat, so put two double crochets in the next stitch, and one double crochet in the next two stitches, just like that. Okay, so repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have 48 uh, double crochets. So I'll meet you up when I have done that. All right, I just finished round one, two, three, four. So uh, just count back to the first double crochet of that round. Uh, you should have 48 stitches at the end of this round, so just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through for a slip stitch. Just like that. So now we are done increasing. This should be wide enough uh, and big enough for a baby hat that'll fit the 6 to 12 month old baby. So now, um, going on to rounds 5, 6, and 7, this will be a repeat round, so just chain up 2. And just put one double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so just one double crochet, just like that. And this one should go pretty fast since you're not increasing anymore. So just put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you up when I finish round seven. So you should do rounds five, which is the one we're on, then six and seven. And all you have to do at the end of each round is just slip stitch to the beginning d double crochet of that round and then chain up two to go on to your next round. I'll meet you up when I'm about to slip stitch and finish off my round seven and we will go on to round number eight together. All right, so I just finished um, row seven, or round seven, and now at this point, uh, when we go to slip stitch to go on to round eight, we're actually going to be dropping the white color and picking up the red color. Okay, so just insert your hook in that first double crochet of that round, and instead of yarning over with the white and pulling through, we're going to yarn over with the red and pull that through and through like that. So now we've dropped the white and we've picked up the red and just let your stragglers then go uh, in the back here and now with the red you want to chain up two so yarn over pull through one and two okay so now we've picked up the red and now we are secure with the red okay now we just want to do rounds eight and nine Okay, just two rounds of red, okay? And just repeat rounds, you know, how we've been doing rounds five, six, and seven. Just insert your hook in the first stitch there that we just chained up two in. Okay, we gotta pull these all tight there. So we just chained up two in that round, or in that stitch, and now we wanna make a double crochet in there. And now in the next stitch, make a double crochet. And in every stitch all the way around for rounds eight and nine we are just putting one double crochet in each of the stitches again for 48 stitches and my yarn is being tough with me so I gotta pull some out here there we go so just do that and then um, I'll meet you up after round nine to go on to round 10 and in round 10 we will be switching back to white all right so i'm just um finishing up this second row of red but i um before i finish i'm gonna pull out my um hook here real quick and look at the inside here and i never cut my white yarn um, from changing color so i'm gonna cut that real quick and where we changed color 
um, from round eight or round end of round seven to round eight. I just want to tie a knot of those two colors just so that it stays secure. You can tie it once or twice just so that they are secure. And then we're going to sew those in later. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure to show you that I wanted to tie that knot. Now I'm finishing up round um, nine here real quick. And then we'll slip stitch to the beginning double crochet of that round, but we're changing back to white. Okay, so pick up that white. Instead of slip stitching with the red, you slip stitch with the white here. Pull and pull, just like that. Okay, so now we've dropped the red and we picked up the white and just how I showed you to cut that yarn from the other rows um, just cut this yarn then for the red and tie that knot okay but chain up two with your white okay now we're going on to round 10 and we just want to double crochet around for one round so just go right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into we are going to make a double crochet in there and then just double crochet all the way around and then for round 11 and 12 we'll be doing a little bit different thing so um, I'll meet you up when I finish round 10. Okay so I just finished uh, round 10 so now I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning here. Okay. And I did end up cutting my yarn from changing colors in the previous row, so I'm just going to tie my knot here just to secure that. And I'll sew that in later. So now this is what it looks like. Okay, so now for rounds 11 and 12, we are only going to chain up one. So yarn over, pull through just one. And now it says to single crochet in every stitch around. So go right back into that same stitch. And so no yarning over. For a single crochet, we just go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. Going into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we're going to just single crochet in each stitch all the way around for rounds 11 and 12 okay so i'll meet you up when i finish round 11 so i can show you how to go on to round number 12 and then round number 13 is our last round all right so i just came back around here now we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round Okay, so if you have to count back 48, do that. Just make a slip stitch. And now going on to round number 12, we're just going to chain one. Okay, no chaining up two anymore. So just chain one and then just repeat round 11. So just put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, just like this. And then I will meet you up when we go on to round 13. Alright, so just finishing uh, round 12 here, I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. Okay, now for round 13, um, we have to actually do a reverse single crochet. Okay, so we're actually not going to be working this way anymore. We're going to be working this way. So having your work look like this, okay? So your hook is in your right hand here, yarn is in this hand. We are going to... Now pull up just a little bit there. We're going to work in this stitch, okay, that we just worked in or just made our last single crochet of that round. We're going to work in that stitch. So you have to put you have to go over like this and go into that stitch. Okay? Then yarn over and pull through. Okay? So now you have two loops on your hook. Okay? The one like this yarn over pull through okay you have your two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both of those okay again in the next stitch 
we're just working one single reverse single crochet in each stitch around okay so yarn over and pull that through yarn over and pull through two loops okay it's gonna make this twisty look like a rope a twisty rope look around the edge so going into the next one over insert your hook yarn over and pull that through so you have the two loops on your hook then yarn over and pull through both of those okay and you don't want to make these too tight because then it will be very difficult to pull this through because a lot of people pull this through and then pull it through and make a slip stitch you don't want to do that okay you don't want to pull through that loop that's on your hook okay so I'll show you again there's the loop that's on your hook you can even like hold it back with your pointer finger or something just so you don't pull through that yarn over and pull that through and then yarn over and pull through both of those loops okay I find that to be a little bit easier to do is holding um, this loop that's on your hook far away and then going into that next stitch then yarn over and pull through so you don't pull through that loop that's on your hook and then yarn over and pull through both of those loops okay and then once you get the hang of it you know you'll be able to go a little bit faster um, that is a little bit of a tricky uh, stitch to do at first but now you know I've done it so much that I can go a little bit faster so just do that stitch all the way around and you'll notice that it is start it does make like a twisty rope look around the edge and so I'll meet you up when I'm about to fasten off I'll show you how to attach to the beginning to close this up and then I'll show you how to fasten off our work alright so I just came back around here now we're going to go into you see where this first um, reverse single crochet is in we're gonna go over that so you don't have to go into the slip stitch here or this chain one we're going to go right into the stitch that we put our first uh, reverse single crochet in right in there and then yarn over pull through and now you can pull through the loop that was on your hook because that is a slip stitch and then pull tight just like that and then to fasten off I usually chain up one and cut my yarn and then pull that all the way through and pull tight just like that so now our hat part is done so you can see and then I'll just sew in my ends in a minute but I just want to show you the edging here it looks awesome it's like a like that twisted rope look which is really cool now you can leave your hat just like this or you can uh, follow along and make a bow I do have other videos um, or another video out there for how to make a bow in different sizes so if you want to follow along on that video and make your bow bigger or smaller uh, than the one I'm about to make you can follow along in that video and I'll put the link in the description for that or on this video um, so you can click that and go there and make a bow for this otherwise follow along and we are going to make a bow for this let me set this aside now uh, we are going to with our same hook I uh, size five and a half we're going to make a slip knot so remember in the beginning of this video I showed you how to do that okay and now it says to chain 33 okay and our bow is going to be red if you want it to be a different color you can go right ahead and do that you can make yours white or you know whatever all right so chain 33 so yarn over and pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through four five six seven eight nine ten I won't make you watch all 33 so just uh, make sure you yarn just make 33 chains and then I'll meet you up when I have done that all right this is what my chain looks like like that 
Okay, so um, I'm actually not going to follow exactly what she has in her uh, pattern, so if you want to follow the written pattern, you may go right ahead, but in my bow, I'm just going to go, so what I did here, you see your uh, bow is, or your chain is like this, we are going to not twist the chain, so make sure not to twist the chain, but go like this and loop this back around so it makes a circle. Okay, and then in this first stitch here, we are going to make a single crochet. Okay, we're not going to slip stitch. So in hers, she slip stitches and then goes up, chains up one and goes around, but I'm actually just going to make a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so I just made a single crochet there. Don't worry, this is going to be on the back <laughs> of our bow, so nobody's going to see that and just make a single crochet now in each stitch around. So even though it's not going to be completely even on the side, see how this comes down and your chain is way up here? So it makes that. Nobody's gonna see this. This is gonna be on the back so, and it's gonna be sewn to the hat. So nobody's gonna even see that. So just make, just insert your hook in each stitch Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so make a single crochet in each er, in each chain all the way around. Once you get back up to the front, I will um, show you how to go on to the rest of the rounds. It's very simple. We will be working in the back loops only, which I will show you how to do as well. And I'll just meet you up when I finish round one. Alright, so I just came back around here. I made a single crochet in each chain around, so this is what it looks like so far here. So now um, we are just going to work in the back loops only. So usually we work through both loops like this, okay? But right now we are only going to work and see this front loop here and then this back loop. Front loop, back loop, front loop, back loop. We are only going to work in these back loops. Okay, so we're going to insert our hook here and then work through those back loops. So going through those, we're just going to single crochet for rounds two through six. We are just going to insert our hook in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so just single crocheting in the back loops only, just like that. Okay, so it's going to give a ribbed effect. See, you can see this line. We're going to be having like, like a striped look, I guess. So working in the back loops only, just single crochet all the way around and just continue single crocheting. So we're not going to be, you know, slip stitching or chaining up anything. We're just working in a complete spiral and we're always going to end our rounds right here where our um, slip knot is. So you'll see that. That is where we are ending our rounds. And I'll meet you up then, um, just single crochet in a full-on spiral for until you finish round six. I'll meet you up when we finish round six and I'll show you how to fasten off and then finish the bow. All right, so I did my six rounds and I worked in the back loop only and now we're here. I just worked in a continuous spiral and now we want to just go into the very next stitch and then yarn over, pull through and through for a slip stitch, okay? Again, this is going to be in the back of the bow. Nobody's going to see it. Um, to fasten off, I chain up one and now we're going to cut our yarn actually very long because we're going to be wrapping this around the bow to make the shape. So cut it uh, quite long and then pull that all the way through. Okay, and then pull tight. Okay, so this is going to be our bow. You're probably like, what the heck, Nadia? It doesn't even look like a bow. <laughs> well, we are going to make it a bow. So how to make a bow, usually um, they are, they poke in, so make sure that these two strands are in the back here, okay? So it looks like this. And then in the front, they usually poke in and then back like this. 
Okay, so I folded that in half and then folded those two edges out like this. Okay, so like this and like this. Okay, and so I'm going to do that. Right where those two strands are, we're going to fold it in half and then back like this. Okay, and then pinch it. Okay, and then this straggler, you can either tuck it in the middle inside of this thing like that so that that's completely hidden okay make sure you pinch that and then this strand we are just going to wrap it around now you can wrap it this way or you can wrap it this way it really does not matter at all which way to wrap it but you want to wrap it very tightly but not so tight where you're going to snap your yarn or anything but just wrap it once or twice like that to make it look like a bow. That looks like a bow. Now you can continue wrapping until your middle of your bow is to your liking. Okay, so you can make that um, in the middle there, you know, very big or very thick, or you can just make it very light. It's totally your preference, okay? So I'm wrapping mine, I wrapped it about 8 or 10 times there. And I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks. So now it's ready to be sewn onto the hat. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it one more time. There we go. So now, I'm going to set that down there for a second. On your hat, you want to make sure that your seam, you can see the seam here. Right here it is. Okay, so you want to make sure that's in the center back, okay, and if you see your stragglers, you can tell that that's the seam, so make sure that's in the center back, and then flip that over, so you're looking at the front of your hat, and then position your bow off to the side, like that, okay, or, you know, you can have it on this side, or whatever, I usually like it on this side, though, okay, so you want it, you know, mine's going to be partially off the side, you know, just like that. Then I suggest you take a yarn needle and yarn your needle with that extra yarn that we used to wrap around the bow, to shape the bow. And actually I'm going to cut my yarn a little bit so that I can, so it's not so long. I got it a little too long. Okay, so then yarn your needle, there we go, okay, now we're going to sew this onto the hat, so you want to put your hand inside the hat so you're not sewing the hat closed, and you want to sew it on the stripe that we made, that red stripe that we made, and you're just going to go into the hat, okay, into the hat and pull that all the way through. Okay, pull tight. Now we're inside the hat. Now we're going to go out of the hat and into the back of the bow, just like this. And I'm only going to sew this center piece onto the bow. You can sew down the bow uh, flaps here um, to make it completely flat against the hat. That is your preference. So basically, just sew this uh, bow to your hat, and then I'll meet you up when we are all done. Okay, I'm just going to show you how I fasten off. So I sewed my uh, bow to my hat, but I'm just going to show you how I fasten off. So I just go back behind a loop there that's behind the bow so it's hidden and I just make a loop and then put that through and tie a knot okay and I do that a couple times so I'll show you again go underneath a stitch okay pull through and I usually stick my finger in there so that it doesn't loop all the way closed and then go underneath that loop and pull tight just like that 
Okay, and I do that twice or three times. And then to hide this straggler, we're just gonna go behind a few stitches. Into a few stitches there and back. Okay, and then cut that yarn and pull it so that it is secure. But there you have it. And then I just want to sew in this end here. This was our straggler here. Just go underneath the stitches in the back. Pull that. Oh, come on. It's stuck. There we go. And then just pull that tight. Or all the way and then cut that yarn and so it's hidden and there you have it there is the bow on our hat you can stretch these sides up to make it look more like a bow there you go so I hope you learned something from watching this video and making this hat. You know, you don't have to put a bow on there. You can just have the plain hat if you want just the striped hat. But I think the bow has a, a cute touch to it, a cute embellishment. So uh, I think so much, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to share your work on the Facebook if you make this hat. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as well uh, so you can get updates on new videos. I try to put a new video out each week and um, yeah, share your work on, on the, the website or on the Facebook. And then uh, I'll put all the links in the description of the pattern that I had inspiration from and um, all the good links, the Facebook, the website pattern, and the bow pattern as well. I'll put that in the, link, uh, the description too. So thanks for watching. Happy hooking!